that's what we have found out that there's actually three different brain functionalities in a filter for starters and that they have different ways of expressing themselves. Yeah, I, I love this chat so much because uh, I am like a, a neurolinguist lover. I love the idea that language is a code because I'm a nerd and we speak this code perhaps like right now we're speaking English and I'm using my hands if you're watching this video and, and stuff like that. And I've got writing on the whiteboard and it's, it's, it's communication. And there's, I, I always think of it as three parts. There's the actual coding. How do I code what I'm thinking into what I'm saying? And then there's parsing. It's sending that information and then somebody decodes it. Somebody receives that information. And essentially what, what, what I heard there is that uh, by just being aware of this type of communication and understanding how somebody else might decode the information, you can codify your language to be received with the intention that you want it to be received with. That if you care about somebody, you can let them know that you care about them. Or that if somebody cares about you, you can actually hear that instead of misinterpreting and decoding it the wrong way which was a conundrum that you shared that you found yourself in. And I can, I've been there most of my life. I still have to actively every single day do a positive affirmation and remind myself that things work and, you know, put those thoughts out there because the, the internal is always to, to, to fall back to, I guess, those first two parts of the coding of, of our, of our natural decoding of language. And we're going to hear what we hear. And, uh, and sometimes that might not, I guess if we're in, as salespeople, oh, that was the other thing. I, I know just as a salesperson, I've been a salesperson my entire life, uh, that bank code is, is the only one touted to be scientifically, mathematically proven to make an impact in sales. So if you seriously, if you sell houses, if you sell iced Eskimos, if you sell multi-billion dollar contracts, it doesn't matter if you're a coach or consultant, which most of our, our friends here are business owners, entrepreneurs, salespeople, or, or digital marketers. And so all of these people have this, have a sales role, a, a business ownership role, and, and all of this, how would it feel to, I guess the question, since we're choosing our words wisely, would be, does it make sense to go forward understanding this code, this bank code, and becoming a code master, instead of just going at it and, and getting something like 75% of everyone you communicate with is more likely just to never talk to you about your business ever again. 